So let's uh, let's go. Uh, and we want to be going west generally. Oh, we need yes. Right. Okay. How many rations? I did. I bought, I'm sure I bought some rations. Hang on. What did I just do there? I clicked on something and I didn't want to. I don't think. Oh, never mind. Uh, ration eight rations. Well, that's not going to go very far. Mm, that'll get us to lighten. Come on, you need rest. Okay then, rest. We'll be there in time to buy some more rations before you all die of starvation. Wait a minute. Map. Is this right? Oh yeah, apparently it is. As long as we go westward, we'll be uh, heading in the right direction. Northwest will do. A house. Whose house is this? No one. Uh, no one's house, really. Uh, empty. They were not alone. Owens Plus quickened as he saw the lone figure approach, but when it became apparent they were not being attacked, is it a book? Yes, it's a book! Master of Locks, am I? So, oh, it appears that they're a master of more than locks. What do you know of the prank stone north of Romney? Yes, we heard about that before. A tongue wags loose in Sildon, I see. Oh, no, I see my enterprises may be silenced. I am interested only in the brass spyglass that you sold to Juft has in Sildon. Tell me about it, and I will choose to forget about any other thefts that you may have participated in. How did you come by it? A year and twenty ago I bought a box in Sildon from a trader. He told me it would bring me great fortune, but I wished only for a strong chest to hold my things, and I told him that he would be a fool to sell such a box. We haggled, and at last I purchased it for ten sovereigns, a price that the seller seemed positively glad to receive. I too was pleased with the exchange, but began to wonder at the nature of what I had purchased. The chest was possessed of a kajunlo. A kajunlo? What does that mean? It was a box of trickery, of magic. Objects would appear in the box, things that I had not placed there. Then one day I met a man from Romney, and he told me of the true nature of my chest. When things were lost in a certain place, they came to my box, and we could sell those things. We decided, of course, that we would never tell each other more about ourselves, so our business would be safe should one of us fall into harm. And you two would split the profits of whatever appeared in the box. I take it that the breast spyglass was one of the items he arranged for you to find. It was one of many things. The day you got the spyglass, did anything else appear in your box? A few things. I keep the things whose value I do not know. Some of so the items which arrived with the spyglass are still there as well. I believe there was a note whose contents I do not remember. Where was this box? Is it close by? It lies behind a mount mountain with two other boxes near Sildon and is locked with a special lock. You will have to spell out Thorn so that it may be opened. If you do not understand of what I speak, you shall when you find the box. Right, it lies behind a mountain with two other boxes near Sildon. Thorn, we remember your kindness, thank you. So, right, okay, well we're near Sildon. Um, ba -ba -ba, we need to find this box, where are we? Zoom out, zoom out, no, that's in. Could be... Yeah, let's presume we have to go back to Sildon. It could be north or south. We'll go north. Look behind those mountains. Oh, well, those are just hills, apparently. That looks like a mountain. But no boxes, no chests. Okay then, let's go back east. That's obviously where we have to go. Uh, no, that's west I was going. That is east. East, east, east. There's a mountain. There's a mountain. And of course it's getting dark again. We're going to need to buy some rations. Let's just camp. Uh, 
because we are running low that's west where we don't want to be going it's easy to get um, very disorientated in this game um, can't believe it be no this is it's not going to be here is it because that's just too out in the open oh no we're not going near that lot did you see them off in the distance horrible horrible creatures very tough I better save it actually don't want to have to go through that uh, little conversation again right is this this, this is a mountain But you know, hiding things out in the open here is uh, this is a daft place to to hide things because you can see them directly from the road. So I really can't believe that um, that they're anywhere near here. But you definitely said near Silsden. Silsden. Oh, there we go. Found him. That's not a mountain. That's a that's a hill. Uh, so, there we go. Riffin its construction abandoned the... Uh, oh, the word lock. Mm, he got it in the woods and brought it home in his hand because he couldn't find it. The more he looked for it, the more he felt it. When he finally found it, he threw it away. Uh, yes, thorn. So this would seem to be the right one. What do we got? Ooh, key. Uh, and a note. Not yet convinced you should take the time to read over the missive's contents. What? I think you should. Yeah, grab hold of that and that. Oh, well, might as well take the gold as well. Oh, we've got quite a lot, haven't we? So then, James, are you going to read this note now? Because I think you should. Oh. Are we... what? How are you supposed to read it, then? Oh. There, double click it. Given to Isanus of Caval Keep the quantity of 500 rubies and 200 golden sovereigns, totaling a value not in excess of 20,000 and 200 sovereigns. Oh. Can I do that, that one, then? I am requesting that as many marital soldiers as possible be moved into position and in the, into the town of Tanners immediately. We are anticipating the arrival of Gareth and our orders to kill him to make, cert make certain he, he dies if he attempts to move down the... Well, why, why are we carrying that then? Go in there. Uh, right. Okay. So, I thought that was the, um, the chest with the other objects in. Oh dear, another one. Death to our enemies. No living adversary shall escape the new king of these isles. He will lead us to glory and provide you with new lands for our people. Oh, is this the bloke they've been talking about all along? Um, Delican. Delican. Uh, I can't remember how to spell it now. Del A C K K Oh, there we go. Is it K H A N? Ooh, nice. That'll do. And you have them. And the last one. Today he is there to trip you up and he will talk to you tomorrow. Yet he is also there to ease the pain when you are lost in grief and sorrow. Alcohol. Oh! <laughs> I was joking! Uh, but, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. A L C H. A L C. No, A L C O H O L. 
Alcoholic does ease the pain temporarily. Oh. So I'm a bit, bit. We've done that now. I think we have to carry on back to Crandor. Um, how many rations have we got? Five. Oh lord, that's not gonna. That's not gonna get us even to let lighten. Um, okay, we've got a problem here. We can't buy any new rations in uh, Sildon because all I've got is spoiled ones there at the inn, which is, you know, very handy. Oh dear. Where are we? Oh, well, we're just going to have to try and make it. Let's save it. Have I just saved it? I can't remember. I'm going to save it again. <laughs> 